Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GEM, the ECMWF, the GFS and ECMWF ensembles and we'll finish up have a look at the UK Met Office precipitation and temperature at the end of the video. Now we have pretty pleasant conditions in the east today, further westwards we have more cloud and rain closer to the centre of low pressure. We saw 17 degrees out in the southeast, where some areas in the west only get up into mid single digits, and that's what March can do. Still got a lot of colder air masses around, but we've got a strong sun. So further eastwards, where we have a bit of a milder air mass, clear skies, those temperatures have really shot up. And there is the potential that next week we could be seeing the first 20 degrees of the year. We're going to be seeing potentially uh, uh, shots of quite warm air push up from the south and it could mean areas in England and Wales could be seeing 20 degrees. I'll have a look at that in detail in this video. Just remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me, on, follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So we do start on the GFS. You can see, as I said, an east-west split. East close to the high pressure under milder air mass, further westwards under lower pressure under a colder air mass. And you can see that with the upper air conditions in our east getting to around a few degrees above freezing, further westwards around or below freezing at 850 HPA. Beyond that though, low pressure does look like it will win out. If we go back to the pressure charts, low pressure will win out over the course of the next couple of days. It looks like it's going to be a pretty unsettled weekend, unfortunately. As these low pressures arrive, it's going to bring temperatures uh, a little bit down um, and it's going to bring precipitation and some stronger winds as well. Now, we were potentially having a look at this little daughter low that's developing just to the south of Ireland and the southwest of Ireland. It doesn't look like it's going to be too severe now. It was the potential a few days ago for it to be quite severe, but now it's not looking like it's going to be anything too bad, but still could be some strong gusty winds and there could be some very heavy rain with it could we could see warnings put in force but i don't suspect it'll be any named storm or anything beyond that low pressure continues to dominate through sunday into early hours of monday high pressure starts to build back in as we see a cutoff low develop over portugal and spain and this cutoff low is what forces that warmer air up from the south and you can see by next wednesday we really are quite warm with this south to southeasterly wind. Now, if we have a look at those upper air temperatures, you can see a real push of warm air, 10 degrees pinch at 850 HPA. Look at those temperature deviation, getting a few degrees above um, uh, above average. And more importantly, if we have a look at the two meter temperatures and go into the United Kingdom, look, you can see 18, 19 degrees is very possible down in the far south and southeast, potentially in a few localized spots getting to 20 degrees. That's proper, decent, mild, warm spring like weather. And I know a lot of people will be enjoying that if this did come off exactly like that. There is some moderation depending on how far northwards that warm air does get, whether it does even reach the UK and uh, whether it reaches further northwards is still up for debate. And you can see further northwards across Scotland, Northern Ireland, it's chillier only in mid to high single digits with a colder air mass. So you can see very subtle differences uh, in the pressure patterns can give big, big differences in the surface temperatures. Now beyond that, high pressure continues to dominate. Um, we just see continued easterly winds could be a little bit chillier for a period of time uh, coming in off the continent but beyond that we just see the uh, high pressure towards Scandinavia holds on but we see a bit of a sliding low pressure system and again another interesting pattern happens after this high pressure starts to build back over the top and to the north of the UK and we do start to pull in once again we do run all the way to sort of 312 hours easterly winds in off the near continent not bitterly cold but chilly easterly winds with their origins coming more from the arctic and generally more from the north and if we do run through right to the end of the run 384 hours you can see high pressure still to our north but we still have these sliding low pressure systems and again upper air temperatures you can see we're not particularly warm but we're not particularly cold either not great just sort of in a bit of a lull so it does look like it could be going quite warm next week. Beyond that, there's still signs of high pressure around, 
northeasterly or south southeasterly winds looking quite likely again all depends on the origin of that air mass if it's further southwards it could be quite warm if it's further northwards it'll be chilly not massively cold we're not seeing any signs of anything bitterly cold but could be a little bit chilly so we do now have a look at the gm run see how that does compared to the gfs Again, you can see we're in between weather systems with high pressure to our east, low pressure to the west, but the low pressure will win out over the next couple of days. We see that low pressure system spin up and we see low pressure dominated. And then we see that push of warm south to southeasterly winds. And again, if we have a look at the upper air temperatures, you can see around 5 to 10 degrees A in drift DHPA, very mild indeed. And we continue to hold on to that high pressure. And right towards the end of the run, we are still coming up with a, with a balmy southerly wind. Again, it all depends on precipitation and cloud amounts. But if we did see some decent spring sunshine, wouldn't be surprised to see temperatures in the mid-teens, if not getting up towards the high teens with this. So GM showing another sort of warm, pleasant sort of scenario. Now if we do have a look at the east and air front, see how that does compare. Again, in between weather systems, low pressure they're winning out. And it does spin around those low pressure systems, and then eventually we do see that push of southerly airflow, but not coming off quite as much as the other runs before. Right, day 10, we are firmly under high pressure with southeasterly winds or easterly winds pushing in uh, with quite a warm, mess, a warm air mass initially. Perhaps we could start to put in some cold air towards southeast Europe that did hold on uh, that high pressure, and we did start to drag that in. It could turn a little bit chillier. But for the time being, all the runs are showing at least milder weather, if not warm weather, over the next five to ten days. Still with the high pressure signal to our north and east, which could start putting cooler, cooler or colder air at some point. But we're not seeing any major signs of that at this stage. So we now have a look at the ensembles. If we do go to the picture view. With the end of THPA temperature and precipitation, you can see generally it is pretty dry over the next few weeks. There is precipitation around, but nothing crazy. Um, and there are some banding over the next few days with low pressure coming in off the wet in, in off the Atlantic. But it's nothing too crazy. You can see temperatures right now at A of THPA only two or three degrees, but we're seeing in London. 16 17 degrees at the surface and it just shows you what the spring sunshine can do now temperatures will be going down subtly over the next couple of days into the weekend with more of a westerly flow and then we see a big rise in temperatures for the middle of next week by sort of tuesday to thursday time you can see quite a few of the ensemble members are going really quite warm uh, and some even going like to sort of that high teens 20 degree mark like the gfs operational run getting up towards six to eight degrees at age 50 hpa others are much more pessimistic colder but at this stage definitely just look around or if not above average which would give temperatures in the mid teens and of course those warmer runs high teens is very possible and even 20 degrees beyond that temperatures stay above average and then return to below average right at the end of the run, but that's a lot of scatter around. Of, of course, there'll be some of those runs that start to put in more of a cold easterly flow with that high pressure hanging on, but others will maintain more of a south or southeasterly flow. So it's very difficult to say in the longer term. And if we do have a look at the two meter temperatures, so you can see today forecast really only around 13, 14 degrees, and we surpassed that by a couple degrees simply because of the spring sunshine. Temperature's going to be around or below that over the next few days, and then we see this big rise next week. And you can see by sort of Wednesday time next week, potential there for 17 degrees on the operational run. But of course, that's at midday, and peak temperatures around 3 p.m. And of course, the ensemble is only doing six hour intervals. So definitely is likely that if we did run this on to 3 p.m., sort of the peak temperatures of the day, we could be seeing 18, 19, if not 20 degrees is possible next Wednesday. And of course, next Tuesday and Thursday will be warm as well either side. But it looks like Wednesday will be the peak for any of this warmer conditions. And you can see in the longer term still some warmer runs, but also some colder runs. Um, and it, again, all is down to the orientation of that high pressure system. But yeah, looking very interesting for next week. Could be seeing first 20 degrees of the winter. Now, if we do have a look at the ECMWF ensembles, have a look at the midnight run. Again, you can see slightly above average at the moment, dropping to below average. And then we see this big rise in temperatures towards next week, peaking in around Tuesday to Thursday time. So I'm going really quite warm, maybe not quite as warm, but still pretty mild. And then we see a little bit of a dip there. There's obviously a cold front coming through, then it returns back to well above average and stays around that for the foreseeable future, looking really quite mild in the long term, but also dry. So it's going to be pretty nice spring sunshine, hopefully. Now, if you look at those two meter temperatures, you can see by the time next sort of Wednesday, Thursday time, again, very similar. 
15, 16, 17, 18 degrees on many of the ensemble members. And of course, it'll be a couple of degrees warmer when we get to 3 p.m. And that's something we have to take into account. So very interesting seeing that for next week. That is entirely possible. We could be seeing the first 20 degrees of the year so far. Now, if we do finish up, have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at precipitation and temperature. Now, you can see, if you do run through to this afternoon, um, you could see in the west, we still have precipitation and some thicker cloud. Further eastwards, sunshine, and that's where the temperatures really did boom. Overnight tonight, there is some precipitation moving in for northern and western areas, pecking up. Uh, Pepping up a little bit, but main precipitation in the west across Ireland, and we're going to see some more heavier rain push through tomorrow, especially further southwards and eastwards. So not looking great um, for precipitation moving in the far, far, far south and east, and of course widely further west as well, as low pressure does rumble in, and a lot of showers. They could be thundery of nature, highly convective showers, and that continues all the way through Saturday as well. Through Saturday, not looking like a particularly great morning, but by the afternoon, it does look like things are slowly clearing up, even though there's going to be quite a few showers, especially in the morning, further southwards and westwards, and then transitioning further northwards through the afternoon, and then see another weather front push through that more vigorous low-pressure system. And just again, loads of showers before we head into next week. Also, on Monday, Tuesday time, things are drying up a little bit, and that's where you can see those temperatures starting to pick up. Now, you can see today, temperatures really were not forecast to be that high. You see 14 degrees potentially in the east was forecasted today when actually we got up to around 16, 17 degrees in many spots. So you can see the models do underdo it a little bit by a degree or two. Tomorrow, temperatures are going to once again rise to a sufficient level, getting up to around 11, 12, 13 degrees, but nothing massively warm with more cloud and precipitation moving in. By Saturday... Nothing too cold overnight, of course, with more cloud and precipitation moving in. And by Saturday afternoon, we see temperatures are going to rise to around 12, 13 in the east, but widely mid to high, uh, high single digits, maybe getting into the low teens as well. And by Friday, uh, but, sorry, by Sunday afternoon, temperatures once again, 10 to 12 degrees, nothing too crazy. So around average, really. But as, as we head into next week, you can see by Monday afternoon, temperatures 13, 14 degrees in the south, maybe 15 or 16 degrees. And if we did run it through Tuesday, I'd expect that again to be 15, 16, maybe 17. And then by Wednesday, maybe we could be even seeing 20 degrees. So interesting conditions coming up over the next week or two. Could be seeing some proper spring sunshine. And I hope if you are looking forward to that, uh, that it does come off as has been pretty abysmal so far. Uh, this winter, uh, or the winter that's just come, has been abysmal for any cold weather. Um, so I'm hoping we do get some nice spring sunshine to make up for that lack of anything interesting, really, in terms of wintry potential over the Christmas uh, over the Christmas and um, general winter period. As I know a lot of people are kind of fed up with winter now, just kind of want that warmer spring sunshine to arrive so hopefully we do see something like that uh, and see maybe mid to high teens widely maybe even the isolated 20 degrees so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon